Good morning, everyone. Welcome to your reading for February 23rd. 20, whoops. Oh, death in the reverse. Um, something's not getting off the ground. Stagnation. Something's hanging on that shouldn't. So, yeah. Please show me what all the signs need to know here or see. Thank you. I hope you guys are doing awesome today. It's so getting warmer. It's so nice. Mind you, we got a bunch of snow again. Honey can pretty much walk over the fence right now <laughs> if she wanted to. <laughs> she must like it here. All right. Your first card. <laughs> That popped out, actually, when I was doing the pre-shuffle. Um, so did the tower in the reverse, and so did the three of swords in the reverse. Or was it in the upright? I can't even remember. Um, while I was listening to the song. And what was popping out and when was definitely making me feel like someone is missing you. Um, someone regrets something. The shuffle song was called You Made Us Change, and it was by the Ephemerals, E-P-H-E-M-E-R-A-L-S. So, yeah, someone has betrayed you. They're looking into the situation now. They're still upside down. They're not in a repenting mode or trying to get away. It's like they're stuck in it now. They're, they're, they can't get out of some kind of feelings of like, how did I do that to somebody? What did I do? Um, is this really me? It feels like someone is realizing the mask that they wear, something like that. This All of a sudden this just felt like a costume. Somebody wants to take a costume off, but it's not a costume. It's like they're, they're it's it's them, they're stuck in it. Wow. All right. The how. So yeah, they're looking back. Ooh, the how is the magician in the reverse. Dark magic. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, this feels like dark manifesting. This feels like dark magic. This feels like, um, you know, it, it could be that somebody was wishing bad on you. Somebody still could be wishing bad on you, but the song didn't sound like they, they were wishing bad on you now. It sounded like they were in regret, re definitely regretting. Um, so this could be that this person sabotaged something and they're regretting that. They're really looking at themselves. I really see somebody looking in the mirror they were looking for light in the wrong direction in the dark. They were taking a shortcut in the Y. Strength in the reverse. Um, yeah, so this person succumbed to something because strength in the upright is resisting something, keeping hold of your, your moral center. This is having no character. Someone that, this is someone who has completely avoided self-growth. Um, wow. It's like this person realizes that they're a monster and they want to take that monster costume off and they can't, it's stuck to them like glue. Um, this is called disgrace in the reverse. Somebody didn't see this coming. Something circled back around to somebody. Somebody sent something negative out um, to you and it's circling back onto them. Now they're having to wear something. Somebody gave in to some kind of quick fix, quick impulses. Someone took the easy way. Someone um, was not strong. They were they were um, weak. 
almost like this feels like a like a dark genie. Like somebody said, I can grant all of your wishes. You don't have to lift a finger. You don't have to do anything. Um, you just have to betray. This is about betrayal, this card. Um, so you just have to betray somebody. And I'll give you everything you want. Somebody was irresistible. Could have been sexual. How you're going to feel. Ooh, the devil in the upright. Hmm. The devil in the upright in this deck. What is this called here? Regrets. Chagrins. The devil and the hermit. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is using your animal instincts. Um, like the devil, when it's, it's in the why, it's like because of an attraction. Um, like it feels kind of like you are the attraction. Like, I don't know how to explain this. Like it feels like you are the reason why somebody was fighting, like sabotaging and fighting themselves really, because this is, this is um, definitely a card about going within. It's in the reverse. So somebody's gone into a cave and now they're coming out or they're trying to. Someone's holding them down this could be you. This feels like you are feeling very, very powerful and very magnetic. And this person, it. This person is weak to you. There's two people chained to this devil. So you could still be feeling chained to this person. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Virgo, Gemini, Leo, all major arcana cards. The only one upright is the devil and it's in how you feel. You are controlling some kind of situation here. Or you feel like there's something controlling you and this person. There's something linking you together. But, um, and it's something irresistible. Something that makes you feel ashamed. Wow, this is crazy. Your advice? Wow. All major arcana, um, the high priestess in the upright. Okay, this is you using your intuition, you controlling something, you using, um, this is a very psychic card. This is being aware, being a silent. I actually feel like you are somebody, oh, wow. Okay, this feels like spiritual warfare. It feels like um, like somebody is against you. Somebody is sending you some kind of like bad juju here. You, like it doesn't touch you. You are completely in control of your psychic energy. It actually feels like it's making them weak. And, and where I was going was when I saw this and this magician in the reverse, you're, you're sending back reversals. Um, someone's sending something to you and it actually makes it, this makes it look like it's, they make something stronger in you. The more they send you shit, the more you, um, crystallize or you like you're getting in tune with your instincts, 
like you're learning how to use them. This is, this is badass energy in how you feel. It's like, don't mess with me. I will put you in a cave or you'll want to go in a cave. This is a friend. This is a disloyal friend. This is someone trying to cause illness here. Both of these cards, depression, illness. Oh yeah. Um, death popped out when I was pre-shuffling as well in the reverse, or was that when I, I don't know. Um, but they were, yeah, they were all negative. Tower, tower, three of swords. Okay, so this might be another person. This might not be your person. This might be someone connected to them, someone that is really resentful. Like it, it feels like a crone. It feels like someone who feels really ugly. They use dark magic. They're sending you bad intentions. They're trying to weaken you. But you are absolutely lit here. And here, you're silently sending shit back or just out, but it does look like it's going right back to this person. This is a mirror. Holy, all right, bottom of the deck. I thought it was going to be a nice happy one today. <laughs> okay, yeah, someone, um, queen of cups in the reverse. Somebody is no match for you. Someone is, um, I wish I, I wish I could remember whether the three of swords was in the upright or not. Um, obviously if this person is involved with, it feels like it's a, a karmic, it feels like, um, another woman or another man, um, someone who is not attached, but wanting to be attached to your person. That's what this feels like because of that three. So yeah, it feels like this person is hurting. Um, I feel like this is you and you're actually sending them some kind of, you're, you're trying to help them because this is also called, um, success in the reverse. You're, you don't wish anything bad on this person. It's almost like like if a, if a dog attacks you and you love dogs and you know you might you might have to hurt it, weaken it just so you can survive. You don't have anything against this person or this animal or this um, lovesick person that is misdirecting some kind of bitterness or um, resentment, unfulfillness unfulfillment is that a word unfulfillment in their own life this person feels um you know what they they this person doesn't have anything inside them they haven't built up their own personality or something like that um they're wanting to come out of the cave of looking for enlightenment um they should be upright looking for enlightenment like internally in in their cave in in um you know in in blankets in in comfort they're supposed to be looking out not at you so i i also feel like somebody is blaming you um there's been a breakup there's been that three of swords there's been that tower in the reverse um there's been a breakup this person instead of going within they're blaming you that's what it is. They're trying to send you something. You're too strong. You're too in tune with your own magic, with your own powers, with your own psychic abilities. Um, you, when this is in the reverse, it's um, soft. So this is also another woman card. So yeah, I'm really feeling another woman energy here misplaced anger trying to throw it your way but it's not working you're way too strong you're way too in tune so it's it ends up feeling kind of sad like sad and pathetic and I don't mean that in a judgmental way I mean that's the only way I can think to describe this misplaced anger this misplaced this is really strong like someone is really upset and really hurt 
your person hurt them or they they were they were in some kind of um you know like this is your animal desires somebody was in a very compelling very um like fixated you know that twin flame feeling somebody like very 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 um like addiction somebody was addicted hmm there's also three people here it's like you're the devil with these two people these two people are using you to prop them up in a three-party situation um yeah, like that stool, that three-legged stool comes to mind. When you removed yourself and they fell apart, you're still standing. Stronger than ever with this devil energy in how you feel. Very, very, um, like you, you follow your instincts. You use your instincts silently. <clears throat> Excuse me. Wow. All right. Um, in the what? I think that's the eight. Oh, yeah. The eight of coins in the upright. Or is it? The, no, that's the reverse. Um, yeah, this is, this is the false flatterer. This is a false friend. This was a friend who wished you, um, who did not wish you well. They were a false friend. They were um, a betrayer. This is actually called treason in this position. So this could have been someone that you worked with. This is the working card. But yeah, this was someone that was pretend nice to you in the how. I feel like I'm watching a soap opera. Five of Cups. Oh, that popped out too. Um, five of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, this is a love affair gone wrong. Someone is really hurt. Well, we could already see that. This is not you that's hurting. This is you standing incredibly strong. Someone betrayed you. A friend. This is making me shake. Somebody wants your forgiveness. Um, I feel like the, the high priestess is a very forgiving person. She'll just never speak to you again. But it looks like she's, it looks like this person is kneeling, asking for forgiveness. And it looks like this high priestess is, is saying, like, it's, it's in the past. Let it go. Let it go. It's like, we're all stronger for it or realer for it anyway. Um, well, let's keep going. Why am I shaking? I also didn't eat anything. I'm trying to resist brownies that I made last night. Um, all right. Another eight. Eight of cups in the reverse. This person um, is a pleasure seeker. This person, um, okay, so they have disgrace. They have um, somebody who was weak to their desires. They they left you. And I, I'm really picking up friend here. I'm not picking up, like this could be a, a karmic partner as well. But somebody left you. Now they're, they want forgiveness, like I was saying. They succumb to something for, for their own personal pleasure. So this could be any kind of betrayer, but this is about finding disloyal friends. So that could be a partner, but I'm feeling more like um, this is the third person in a situation that was disloyal to you, left you, left you standing alone but you grew so strong, like you're untouchable. Somebody could have betrayed you at work. Now you have some kind of, um, 
you have the ability to hurt them if you wanted to. This person is at your mercy right here. Wow. But you don't look like, it looks like you could, but you're, that's not you. This is, um, oh, and this is called truth, this card in this position. So like it, it's like the truth is healing here. It's like something's coming full circle here and you're letting it go. This person is, um, yeah, they're at your mercy. You could be their boss now or something like that. The Knight of Wands in the upright. Okay, so that's the caveman card right below the devil. This is some kind of very, very magnetic, compelling, physical, sexual attraction. Um, I feel like this was your person, this guy, um, the caveman. He left with this person. They're both pleasure seekers. They both betrayed you. Wow. And this is also called um, depart and disgrace, leaving in disgrace. These two people succumb to some kind of animal instincts and all for their own pleasure. They didn't care who they hurt. They, um, wow, they didn't wish you well, but they, it's like they turned you into a, a devil and an angel. The high priestess and the devil. That's you. And there's somebody kneeling. Could be this person, but I'm really picking up a friend. This person doesn't look like they reflect at all. They're, um, they're, it's like they're still playing. They're still playing. Could be someone that this person worked with. <laughs> and the two of coins, juggling, making a decision in the reverse, long-awaited decision. Um, the truth and missing information. This person's maybe giving you information. Also, this is called arrival. So some kind of truth is arriving. Some kind of information that you were um, denied. This can be bad news. And the last card, I'm almost scared to see what it is. What is that? Another eight, three eights, eight of wands in the upright. Um, yeah, this person wants to communicate with you. This person is going to message you. This person needs to get something off their chest. Wow. Okay, so let's recap disloyal friend. Um, they are coming out of their cave. I feel like they want to, um, like some clear their conscience or they want to feel better. This is all about, um, feeling good. This person is trying to, this is something immoral or something disgraceful. This person wants to communicate. They want to tell you, you, this is silence. So you might not want to talk to them. You might regret hearing what this person has to say. Also, this is five of cups in the reverse. So it's like you're over it. You don't want to know. This would just put bad energy in, in your peace. Like you feel like you're so tuned in here. It also looks like you're going towards things that make you happy. Um, so I kind of feel like this is this person contacting you and you not answering. I also feel like this is um, like an email. It could just be you silently reading an email because I, I feel like you have nothing to say to this person. It's like um, you don't wish them anything negative. You just you just don't want them to even be in your consciousness. Like you're, you don't want them to muddy some kind of, um, I'm feeling a lot of grace here, 
but yeah, somebody really did you wrong. I, I feel like two people did. It feels like your um, ex and your friend. That's what this feels like. Um, that they, they really went down some kind of dirty path here. They, um, they were, they were very, very attracted to each other. They couldn't resist each other. Um, this is someone very, very good looking. This is a pleasure seeker. Wow. The, these people were like, it was, they thought it was like some kind of tragic romance or something. Um, somebody worked with somebody. Someone could be a water sign. You are standing there so serene and silent and you know the truth now. This, this means that you're, you're mostly over it. It also, um, I'm still seeing that, um, like you reflect everything off of you. There's also something, um, heartwarming coming to you, um, but yeah, I feel like you're not responding to this person, but they're filling in some blanks because this is missing information. This is communication. This is also lost letter. Maybe you're going to look in your email and see like an old email or something like that. Or maybe some kind of mail is going to get, um, like find you. It all feels very quiet. It feels like you are forgiving this person, <clears throat> excuse me, silently. But you're, there's no interaction. This person wants to offer you an apology so that they can move on, so that they can um, get off their feet. Yeah, because I saw that death in the reverse when it popped out in the, in the shuffle, in the pre-shuffle. <clears throat> Excuse me. This person is like, like they feel lethargy. They feel like they can't work. This person is trying to get out of some kind of pit. They need your forgiveness. And I feel like you're giving it to them. You're just not talking to them. And you're feeling on fire and very, very energetic. Definitely now you're the pleasure seeker, but you're not hurting anybody. You're also getting over this broken heart and you are being very active. This is, this is doing a lot of fun things with people. I feel like you're making up for lost time as well. But you're doing something in a very, very graceful way. Wow, that was quite the reading. Okay, so your shuffle song. You make us change by ephemerals. All right, love you guys. Have a great week. Bye.